Okay, folks, it's the holidays, it's Christmas. I cooked a lot of stuff for a lot of other people. Now it's time for me to cook for my family. And I've got something special for my wife and my two little girls. I'm doing rib roast today. Got a beautiful rib roast here. We're gonna do it real simple. We're gonna do some salt, some pepper, some garlic, maybe some red pepper flake. And then we're gonna throw a butter cap over top of it. We're gonna put this bad boy on the smoker. Okay, we're getting pretty close to grill time, but I got one more trick up my sleeve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the entire roast in a cap of butter, because that's gonna allow a whole lot of fat and moisture to bleed into the meat during the course of the cook, and it's just gonna make it a lot more juicy. All right, the last little piece that I'm gonna add is I've got some drippings left from a brisket uh, that I finished about two hours ago. So I collected some of the drippings from the brisket and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that uh, at the bottom of this pan. Here, just to add a little bit extra moisture. Okay, so we're out here. We got a two zone fire set up. I'm about to put the meat on. Um, we're gonna let the temperature of the grill get up to about 350 degrees. We're gonna sear the outside at 350. And then after about 20 minutes, uh, we'll back the temperature down to 250 to 275, and then we'll let it ride out. All right, so we're ready to take a look and see how we did on this rib roast. Uh, it's been on for about two hours. Uh, we'll take a look and, and see what we got. All right, good to go on this rib roast. Uh, we started at 350 degrees on the smoker, backed it down to about 275, uh, brought the internal temperature of the meat up to 128 degrees. Let's take a look to see how we did. Okay, moment of truth. That is perfect. It couldn't be better.